Yes, my name is Bench and welcome back to our rail tutorial series. In the last video we looked at how to be able to control our rail using a little bit of logic. So you can see we push the buttons and we can change the directions here. If you need to get a bit of a refresher, click the video here. Otherwise, this is an introduction to the new logic blocks we'll be getting in the rail update. So let's check out what they are. We have the rail button, which is this one here. We push it and it stays on for half a second and then turns off. We've got the flip-flop block, which is activated each time it gets a higher signal. We have a wireless logic block, and we also have the inner ship remote. So we'll start with these two because they work best in tandem. So we can grab our activation module. No, it's not. It's a button. We can grab the button and actually with C and V connected to the flip-flop. And you can see each time it gets a higher signal, it's going to change. Now if I grab an activation module, or even grab this wireless logic and put it in, you can see that even when this goes on, it will change. And even leaving this on and switching this on is still going to change and react. So it's a very powerful button. It can be you know, a very powerful module. It can be used in a whole kinds of different ways, especially with our rail update. It's really great. The next thing is our wireless logic module. Now, we can demonstrate this with our little entity over here. Otherwise, we can create a new entity, which will fly over and create. So we've got our ship here, and we'll create a wireless logic block on top. And now, linking these is really simple. It's something native to all of us. We hit C on that, and then we hit V on the other one. And it will say on the top right, wireless logic blocks connected. Awesome. That's what we want. Now we can also grab this one down here and do it back the other way. And you see, same deal. So now they're both linked together. So if I switch one on, they both react. If I switch the other one on, they both react again. So that is really cool. And I could fly this thing far away. And it will still react. So if I jump out and hit it, you can see it's still activating from all the way away. Now this could even work at sectors away if I wanted to, which is really cool. The next one that we've got is this block over here called the inner ship remote. Now the best way to demonstrate that is actually to be in a ship like we are now. So we'll fly up here and we'll grab our inner ship remote. Now when we drop it down, we can hit R on it to name it. So we can call it, say, inner ship remote. Now it does have a cap uh, character limit, so you can see I can't go past that, so it would be in a ship remote. Now, looking at it, we can see what it's currently labeled as. Now, we can hit C on that, and say hit V on our wireless signal, and then if we jump inside in flight mode and hit T, you can then see here it is, in a ship remote. Now, if we drag it into the actual in a ship remote into our hotbar, we can then activate it. And just to show that both systems work fine, you can see I can click it on and off, and it will actually turn our wireless block on because that's how we've set it up. Now, one other thing that we can do is actually hook it into a button as well, and then hook the button back into the inner ship remote, and so it just kind of toggles itself on and off. And because of the way that it's all set up, you can see I just need to click it once, and it will switch itself off and switch the other one off. Now, just to show how all four of these could even interact with each other, we can then take our wireless block and hook it into the flip-flop, and then fly back into our entity and fly really far away. And then hit, uh, click it, and you can see we're now toggling that thing on and off. So the wireless blocks and the inner ship remote and the flip-flop and the button all working together to give us some really powerful controls that we haven't seen here in the game previously. So those are our new logic blocks. Alright, so we've got that set up. How can we apply it to, say, this? Well, let's jump into the build block. And the usual way that I'll use the flip-flop is I'll use it with a knot. Like so. So if I hit it on, I can't change it again, but if I were to hook up a button, I'll put the button over here and put it straight into the flip-flop and hit it, you can see it's toggling between the two states, which is really good. Now I can take one side of a flip-flop and put it into one activation module, 
take the other side and put it into the other, sorry, button. So now I can use these to toggle between these two. In which case I can control which direction I'm going simply by toggling. Now if I jump out and throw a wireless module down like so and hook this up to that and that up to that so it'll toggle itself on. You can see now that by toggling the wireless block whoop, auto save, that's also toggling again. Now if I fly over to this entity that's going around you can see it's going around here if I chuck down a button on it, like so, and perhaps put the wireless controller on it, again we'll link them into each other, and jump out. Now I'll hit C on that wireless block, and to V in this wireless block. So now, this wireless block is connected to that wireless block. So if I fly over here, and push the button, it'll change directions. And if I grab a gravity module, chuck it on top. Oh, I probably need to be standing on it, don't I? <laughs> Oopsies. Jump on top. Alright, there we go. So now we're on our little moving platform. And I can use the button to trigger me to go back and forth. Which is great. You can imagine this if this was going to different stops. I'd be able to toggle between those two actually on the thing. Or I could even have another rail on here moving with it that uses some controls to be able to toggle different things. So you can see how these logic blocks are really powerful and the way that they can interact with the other rails here. Which is really cool. In the next video, we're going to look at how to actually do all things with the rotary rails, how to be able to control the degrees it moves, and how to get constant moving and all kinds of different fun things with the rotary rails. But until next time, my name is Bench, and thanks for watching.